This video shows how to replace the BOSS S2 module on a PowerEdge R350. Before you begin, power off the system and disconnect all of the attached peripherals. Ensure that you always use ESD protection when working inside the system. For more information about safety guidelines, see the service manual at dell.com forward slash PowerEdge manuals. To begin, first remove the system cover. To do this, if the latch lock is in the lock position, rotate it to the unlock position, lift the latch to disengage the cover from the system, and then lift the system cover off. For the BOSS S2 card carrier, lift the retention latch to release the BOSS S2 card carrier and slide it out from the BOSS S2 module. Now, if present, remove the second carrier. Now to remove the BOSS S2 module. First you must disconnect the power and signal cable from the system board. Now, remove the screw on the BOSS S2 module bay and slide the module out of the bay. To remove the BOSS module cover, remove the screws To install the replacement BOSS S2 module, you need to first install the BOSS module cover on the BOSS S2 module by sliding on the cover and tightening the screws. Now slide the BOSS S2 module into the bay on the system and replace the screw on the BOSS S2 module bay. You can now connect the power and signal cable to the connector on the system board. Now slide the BOSS S2 card carrier into the BOSS S2 module slot and close the release latch to lock the carrier in place. Now replace the second carrier if it was present. Finally, replace the system cover by placing the cover into its position on the system. Lower the latch to engage the cover onto the system, then rotate the lock on the top of the system cover to the locked position. You have replaced the BOSS S2 module on a PowerEdge R350. If you need more information or assistance, go to dell.com forward slash PowerEdge manuals.